And he goes to the low, starts it off. All right. I know zuna has got a lot of no, crazy stuff going with Violet, but he's going to have to be patient. Not extend himself too much. Try to, I know this is difficult for a Violet player, but again, try to avoid some of the flashier tactics and really just commit. Peacock through and through. Oh, but he gets taken out by the little tackle <laughs> into the leg lock. Even after the rage drive. Perfectly timed. Nice. All right, Zernai goes to the knockdown. Let's go for the side step again. Amiel's keeping it steady. Drop. Now trying to go for some surprise tactics. Crush there. Zernai misses the springboard. Leaves himself a little bit open. And yeah. Heavy launch, you're going to knock it out. Take it out. And again. I believe the best way to say, as far as like dragging off with that wind pose and that particular outfit, would be that you've been served. So. Round one. Okay, here we go. Fight. So it's going to be one for out of y'all. Zoro Knight still don't have to get on the board. He's getting the fight in, but you know, not taking the rounds. And again, I like what I'm, no, I like what I'm seeing there from him. He's simply getting in there, not really committing too far, but, you know, really just doing everything he can to, like, just, you know, really stop and stunt anything that Zoro Knight pulls off. Ooh, but again, Zoro Knight with a quick snap. Good stuff. Round two. Fight. All right, nobody there for the grab. So stagger on the offense. Uh, this is the second pool. That's uh, Justin. Oh no, I'm sorry. Actually, it's pool B one. Oh really? Mine, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Again, it's your night. Like, definitely putting a little bit of a spin on things, but come back. Oh. Now it's going to kill. And he's happy, too. Good. KO. Round three. Fight. Okay, so again, it's your night. Again, turning things around. Getting two up on the board right now. Getting real close to that match win. Uh, don't go taunting now, man. Like I said, I know you're happy and everything you call the rage art, but still, finish the plate. All right, good set. Oh, he's going to get picked up on. Yes, and again. All right, so there we go. Zero Knight turns it around, ties it up. Like what I'm seeing from this dude. So we're gonna go safe select, yeah. Swap things out a little bit, take a breather, reflect. Okay. <laughs> Fancy that, yeah. <laughs> All right, so as you're and I get hometown advantage, quote unquote. Solid snake in, brother. Round one. Fight. Uh. Again, like I said, that's how you start the round out. Fabulous. And again, is your nice turn all the way up right now? Uh, huge bounce off that. Ah, oh, but it wasn't able to connect. Still gets a lot of rules of the grab and to be an input error. Oof. Turnaround launch again. Almost brought that right back, right? Round two. Fight. 
And again, yo, the shots out with the no lightning kicks. I dig it. Goes with the monster again. And the Zora Knight is really putting putting on the moves. Okay. Goes a little low. Gets a knockdown. Zora Knight still with just a slight lead on well. Right, it was a slight lead. That's <laughs> no dip. Alright, goes with the to throw. Gets a sweep. And it's gonna be it. And Amio comes out. Slow but steady. I like that. Backs up. Gets a spinning neck breaker. Ooh, trying to go for the punish. Nobody home. And again, the turnaround launcher. He's gonna have to eat this combo. Alright, now actually he lucked out a little bit there. He could have gotten that taken out a lot earlier had being bounced up against the wall, but because he decided to lame it out, stay low. I mean, granted, he still lost, but still. I know was no to the no tactic, but good job. God, now it's so nice. Jesus. Ugh. Yeah. Not his round. Wow. Obviously not going to kill, but a tiny little moral victory, I can say. Uh, yeah, Rage Heart doesn't matter if your knee's down your throat, so. He walks away, and again, like I said, you've been served. All right, good stuff. Yeah, well played. Not too much, man. Enjoying these fights and everything. Who do we got on stage now, if I may ask? Uh, we have Azure Knight uh, on the first player side. And, uh, wait, hold on one second. Yeah, because no, Azure Knight was the one that was uh, oh just Oh, my God, this guy. <laughs> All right, so give us a sec, folks. Like I said, uh, see who it is. Oh, okay, no. I remember that again. Like I said, Amiel was on for the first round. He was a winner of the last round. So again, the question now becomes, who is the far on that is playing uh, so we got TT Blitz. Nice. TTP Blitz. Uh, it's, a, it's not a matter of leading Japanese messages so much as just leading all the nefarious messages. That's all. Yep. Yeah. So again, yeah, Blitz actually you know, bringing the pain right now against Samuel. Yeah. Go to the low. Nice. And that overhead, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll save you guys some trouble. It wasn't Japanese, so. okay. Goes to the low tackle. Nice into the leg lock. Nice quick pick up. Nice the low tackle. Again, like I said, Blitz coming through. Big damage on this. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's stuff from Blitz, and again, like I said, it's a heavy turnaround right now, because again, Emil, you just know, putting up a fight against the Violet in Azure Knight, but now it goes on up against Blitz. Yeah, like I said, no, Jester, you're definitely on point. You know, Blitz, true to his name, literally no downtime, man. Yes, yes it is. This is the one, the only. Fight. Again, what's up, Dragoon? Right, trying to get to the turnaround launcher. Yeah, Amio kind of like goes slowly taking it in. And then go for the chip away. Like I said, trying to get those a little. Ah, oh, again, this. Take that snap. Good springboard. Miss with the low. There. Again, nobody there for the elbow. All right. 
wise to block it again. Blitz is going to have to fight his way out of the corner. Appreciate it, Dragoon. Let me say it again. I'm no a jack of all trades this weekend, though, so I got to be everywhere at once. All right. Oh. Is he getting called out? What? Mm, he is. What? Huh. Fight. It hit so hard, my grandkids felt that. Yeah. Alright, but again, still, like I said, no, Emmy, will come back. Got that one called in. Blitz, on the other hand, is not taking it lightly. Like I said, literally oh, flurries and kicks. I honestly, I, yo, I, yo, seriously, you know, Virgo, you're a KOF player too, alright? Kim Kafwan would be proud of what we oh, just yes, saw. Yes, yeah, huh? yes, he would. Because seriously, non-stop fuss. That was the Phoenix Flash dance full on right there. Okay, again, good defense there for him, yo. There we go. Yeah. Alright, Blitz, mix it up. You know what, look. Reflex, he would probably eat the both of them, alright? Just to spite me. <laughs> alright, nobody there for turn around launcher. Let's go for life, we know. You know, he still has it. Rage. Ooh, nice. Still low. Goes for the nice punish. All right, started steady. Ooh. Tried to go on to it, but again, kept him guessing. He guessed right. Oh. Yeah. Zook on that one. Go slow sweep. Keep it moving. Time to go for the full 10 out for the big launch from that. And again, Blitz is just running with this. And that's that. Yeah, man. I said, seriously, again, like you said, Blitz living up to his name. Non-stop offense is oppressive every step of the way. Yeah, man. Mm. People knowing what they're doing with Homerain is dangerous. Very dangerous. And again, that's the beauty of, I would say every fighting game, but like seeing as how we're on the stage right now with this, it's again one of the highlights of Tekken. Now, that's not to say that there aren't any negative characters. I mean, for Christ's sake, if I'm not mistaken, what was it? Last year's no Tekken World Tour champion was a panda, correct? That's right, and I'm so, a panda yeah, player too myself. It, there you go, all right? So, again, it's not to say that, again, they're going to go like just typically bad characters. No, any character can be supremely viable. I'm not saying perfect. can be supremely viable as long as you put the work in. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right, Dragoon Team Bear. Again, it is. Are you a Polar, Grizzly, Kodiak? Who knows? I guess that's no dealer's choice on that one. I think what people don't seem to realize is that Tech is really more of a mental game. Amen to that. It's definitely a mental game, without a doubt. Anyone can pick any character and win, win a tournament. I mean, mm -hmm. people have tools and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah. it's all about pressing the button at the right time, you know? Yep. Knowing, knowing, your, your, knowing your stuff, your frame data and all that. That's, that's all that matters. And again, like I said, that's the knowledge. That's just the ingenuity that has to come from the player. Yes. Again, all the developers can do can literally just put it on the table, right? It's like the old expression says, you can leave the horse to water, you cannot make it drink. Yeah. All right, so who's Blitz going to be taking on now? All right, so he's going to be going against uh, SU for Rec. Okay. So we'll see. All right, again, like I said, right, for Rec is going to play. Yeah. All right, nice. I'm liking this character variety when it comes to Tekken. Man, I yeah, love this. Well, it was a lot of jacks today. Yes, yes, it were. But again, like I said, you know. Throw out, but it's a lot yeah, you know what, look, <laughs> look, if I'm not mistaken, they're basically, you know, they're like mass produced. So, yeah, of course, you're going to see more than one in any tournament. Okay, we got Armor King going on. Exactly, All man. Right. So, Good again, full wreck. Definitely, you know, bringing out the new characters. Shout like out to the Armor King players out there. All right. Censor yourself, brother. Round one. Fight. Uh, oh, boot to the chest. Trying to go for it. Slow and steady. Getting close, but again, be careful. Ah, uh, good sidestep. This is Shining Wizard. Oof! Close Barry, on. man. And the stops. Ooh. Nobody there for the punishment. Trying to go for that gut punch. The D4 one. Here we go. Oh, but he clipped on the overhead. Gotta take his damage now. All right. Yeah, short. Catch the drive on that one. 
Bad guess, my friend. But again, still only the first round, so it's not the end of the world. Back some up. Again. In the top. Good spiral jump kick. Oh, damn. Oh, I think I swallowed my gum on that one. Jesus. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there he got him. Do he has the, the combination? Going for it. Oh, All right. he All right, smart break from that one, because that would have been it right there. But again, good pick up there by Blitz. Fight. All right, nice duck. And again, yo, Blitz is just everywhere. Is he about to get the gold seven? Yeah, oh, he got man. the. He, he's snatching that one up, closing the show like a champ you right win. now. Yeah, man, he, he's uh, turning it up. Mm. Don't let the blitz go. Exactly, man. And yeah, like here's the, this is the craziest thing, and this is what we were talking about earlier. Me and I yeah. decided when it came to like you know Geese and his victory pose. That victory pose so far on, like I said, that is disgust. <laughs> like, said, yeah. like he's actually upset. He's got to go home and you know polish his boots now because he kicked you. All right, like I said, you have no brought down the quality of his drip because of his kicking, okay? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a pretty good point. <laughs> All right, but again, still, no, for right, he's not entirely out of this. Again, like I said, he was definitely putting the moves on. It's just, again, when Harong and Blitz get that offense in gear, it is hard to stop. Round one. I'm with you, Reflex. Let's see, the thing with a Ring players that get away with a lot of stuff is that who's at home training the strings, mm. you know? Who's really practicing on knowing how to block, you know, like the strings. And, it, and that's the most difficult thing about it. Because you got to know when it's your turn. I mean, that's just what it is. And Pretty when much. you have a, a home ring, you know, who knows the actual uh, stances, you know, from in and out, it's just very difficult to get away. Oof, and again, goes to the drop. But I guess for Wreck, all he has to do is turn it up and just make sure to keep the pressure and you know, don't allow him to press the button. But now it's like, yeah, worry about trying to get up. And again, like I said, no, the point that he's making right now is that, again, the punishes are what's turning the tide for, you know, yeah. Blitz. It's very rough. Again, Justin, you're definitely on point about that one. I agree. Oh, nice side step. Jesus. Again, the swerve and the carry. Oh, my man. God. Yeah, this man knows what he's doing. This, this is uh, not good. Low. And yeah, yo, he gets his gold kick. Yeah, it's not like that. And like I said, Blitz is just unstoppable right now. And he's in top eight. Hey, good. Like Ben, he if he, you know what? Eight. Now that you told me that, that is just one more reason I have to look forward to top eight tomorrow, man. Yeah. I, I think we have a very good stack top eight for tomorrow. I think it's going to be very interesting. Here's know? the best part about it. As great as, like, you know, the... You know, roll call for top eight is going to be. You want to know what's going to make it even better? And what's that, my friend? Being on that main stage. That's oh. what's going to make it even better. Oh, Seriously, yes. again, when y'all see how the stage is set up for top eight tomorrow, mwah, that's all I can say. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. you Guys, make sure to tune in tomorrow because it's, it's going to be definitely a treat. Yeah. And we got the man, Shin Paolo, winner. Uh, oh, God, yo, Sen Palo's about to get up? Yeah, Sen oh, Palo is in top eight winners. And, uh, oh, I thought he was getting on for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. He, he already finished his pull. <laughs> he, he, he ran through his pull and, you know. Yeah. Uh, Jester, if I'm not mistaken, top eight is going to be at 11 o'clock tomorrow, right? I believe so. Yeah, okay. yeah just double check to go online to make sure. But, yeah, if, I'm, if memory serves properly, yeah, it's going to be 11 o'clock tomorrow. Yes, sir. And again, like I said, it's going to be on the main stage, and we are going to hook that up. Uh, but, like I said again, now that everything is, like, you know, in gear, ready and rolling, I hope you guys have been enjoying the show. I hope you guys have been enjoying some good-ass Tekken, because, again, I know I have. You know, the beauty of having to run around as much as I've been at the event so far is that I get to see everything going on at once. 
So between everything that's been happening here with Tekken, everything that's been going on you know, in games with Street Fighter, everything that's happening with Master Hand for Smash, again, it has been awesome. Like literally just drinking all of this in. All right, so everybody is decent. All right, so we got a uh, Slime Lord versus NYC Tekken on Excited. All right. Okay, and again, like I said, unexcited again. He brought out the Gigas earlier, and he was going up against that Jin player who, like, again, everybody was saying, like, is the dude's pad not working? Like, this, he, are his buttons stuck? And no, he just did not know what the hell to do against Gigas. Yeah. See, the thing is, uh, he is a, uh, he is a, tech, uh, not, sorry, not a Tekken player. He is a Geese player. He's uh, a Geese man, and he refused to play Geese because everyone complains about Geese. But he said, now, since he's a loser, he said, you know what, I'm going to rip out the geeks. Yeah, like, dude, don't, like... Like, why not rep them? Look, like, again, if there's anything that we have learned within the last week, especially with the release of Untitled Goose Game, let that bird free, all right? Let that bird fly, yeah. okay? Exactly, Jaeger, all right? And again, trust me, in terms of, like, just FGC villainy, there are fewer people, there are fewer characters who are as much of a villain, as much of a heartless, vicious bastard as Geese Howard is. Trust me. Like I said, this is a dude who again rose up through the ranks through like you know the underworld, only to become the chief of police just to keep doing the crime stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Again, like I said, especially with everything that he's been rocking with, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody would hate a Kuma. Like I said, again, he's no. He can be fun. He can be interesting. He can be something. Get ready for the next battle. 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 Real quick, put that mic on. on to, oh, you're already on. All right, here we go. Oh, How you good. doing? How you doing? Oh, doing good, man. Doing good. All right, some good old tech in the day. Yes, sir, man. Like I said, again, I was watching Blitz and just amazing watching that dude roll, bro. Just nonstop. Nonstop. I must say, the tech and players, today was a really hype competition. Oh, yeah. Really, man. really like hype. Again. again, here it is. Yeah, I'm excited breaking out this gig. It's an, again, it, oh, boy, big, big boy. Rim, dude, when the big red machine starts rolling, like I said, it's hard to stop. Him. Yeah, you normally don't see a lot of kickers, but when they're rushing in, mm -hmm. It's over for you. Should be told, like, the last time I saw a Geekus player was actually a Rumble in the Tundra two years ago. Right, that's how long it's been. Two years? Yeah. Wow. Like, what was it like? You know, it could have been like last year, but again, you know, I said it, it's been that long. That's the issue. Okay. Yeah. And even now, we're seeing it again, like I said, making good use of the gorilla arms, making good use of the damage output, and again, just that one two snuff. Yeah, like, the mix ups from this Geekus, he's playing him like a fast character. I'm kind of mm -hmm. confused. Fun. All right, going for the grab attack. All right, back that. Don't need that anymore. Back it up. Ooh. Get to the launch. Going for, yes, sir. going for a quick juggle. Right. He's, show, he's literally um, asserting uh, his dominance. Jesus, did not stop. All right, but good with the one, two, three, four. One, one, three, four. Right, go real quick low. Okay, no attack on All that. Right. Got to eat that. Got to eat that. Round three. Hey, Jester, Jaeger, great minds think alike, my friends. <laughs> I'm really impressed by the, this uh, this gig is, this gig yeah. is so nice. Okay, go for a juggle. Watch the mix. And again, I said, just the authority that, you know, Unexcited is playing with right now. He is not giving Slime Lord any chances. No chances. This, this gig oh. is, is so aggressive. Usually, it should have been in uh, Kazuya's favor. Mm -hmm. Should have. But again, should have, could have, would have. <laughs> All right, and again, that's smart there for Unexcited. Like, just generally lame it out. I know a lot of people love to try and do something or anything on Wake Up, but, like, sometimes just laying there works. Yeah, it works. It, it uh, allows you to, uh, the person to whip lows. Right. So just because you have to get the momentum. The problem is, is that he's trying to trade with Gigas too much. Just, yeah. like, sit there, receive the combo, and then punish off of that. Dude, seriously, again, trying to trade with Gigas is yeah. not the way to go. <laughs> but... I feel like if he just sits there and just think about it just a little bit, I feel like he can turn this around. Definitely, definitely. You got to get in the groove. I said just, you know, you got to find your way around the Big Red Machine's offense. Wow. Get some side steps in. Go try and mix up the high-low game a little bit. Throw him off. Nice. Yeah. And they probably have to stray away a little from the, you know, forward combo. Because yeah. he's kind of redeeming it right now. 
Ooh. Again, he started with a good chunk of damage, but again, on his side, Geek is just no, pretty much equal to right back. Yeah, he's so fast. Ooh, okay. Good turn around. Watch the mix tech. All right, back that up. Not having it. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice armor. Oh. Ooh. Oh! Gig is Master Race. I, I need to drop Dragon off. Son is. Son, literally, the Tins just got besmirched <laughs> on that one, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Kazia creating some momentum. Okay, good, good. The Juggle. Yeah, just the clobber fist, man. Oh my god. Ugh. Thank god I didn't play against this. Jesus. Yeah, I said, this is what you were talking about, man. Like, the last time the Unexcited was on stream, like, he worked the dude so much that, again, everybody thought that there was something wrong with his controller. <laughs> like, this is actually scary. And just the sheer fact that he's just killing them and those in middle. Okay, okay right, nice so struggle. Sango has opportunity here to really, really, okay, he had the opportunity. I'm sorry. That was a commentator's curse there. My bad, Slime Lord. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't be doing that, bro. Jesus, man. Like, I thought something was going to work. But again, yo, unexcited. And this is what we were talking about a little bit earlier, the beauty of the character variety that comes with Tekken. Yeah. You never know what somebody's going to pull out. Yeah, because, for example, I've seen defensive Gigas. You know what it is to play against a defensive Gigas? I don't even want to think about that. I don't have the patience to think about that. Yeah. See, this is when you're dragging off main. When in doubt, down to. Yeah. Simple. But again, still good, good stuff there. I'm very from impressed. Unsided, man. And again, like I said, you just, you never expect it from a Giga. So, you know, I remember when he was announced and everybody almost immediately wrote him off. But if I can just be a little bit forthcoming here, I made the mistake of doing something like that once. <laughs> when... Uh, wasn't Agonos was announced for Killer Instinct. Like I immediately, I started laughing. I'm not gonna lie. Like again, I just could not. I was beside myself with amusement. And then, like you know, I suddenly see him in the game. I wasn't laughing anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> long story short, I was not laughing anymore. And now, here we are, a couple of years later, we see Gigas coming in second seven, and it's the whole thing all over again. Sure, you see the beginning intro, you see the reveal trailer, you're wondering, okay, what the hell is this? You know, there was that theory that, you no, know, apparently he was supposed to be, like, you know, a kidnapped and cyberized Marduk. Wow. Yeah, like, there were people who were floating that around, which thankfully wasn't proven to be true. And then you just, again, you see a couple of things. People kind of, like, they flirted, they flirted with the idea of him just have a big body there. Nobody really committed to it as far as I can see. And then a little bit later on, like, you know, after things kind of got normalized, you know, first and second season kind of, like, you know, really picked up steam. Suddenly, Gigas had some mobility. And now, here we are. We're in season three. And we're watching what this kid is doing with Gigas right now. And he just took out a Kazuya. Like, l l really, let's underline that for a hot <laughs> second. Like, he took out a Kazuya. Kazuya's supposed to be one of, if not the better characters Mishima's in the game. Way of just, that. Like, just know through sheer matchups and just through lore alone, He's supposed to be at the top of that list. And yet he just got rocked by Gigas. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, like that's the thing that really needs to be taken into account right now. I think he knows the matchups quite a while, uh, mm -hmm. quite a bit. Because, you know, if you play online, you're going to go against a bunch of Mishimas oh, yeah. all the time. So yeah, he, he knew that matchup. He knew what to abuse. It was just really, really, really well played by him. Mm -hmm. Gigas the wave. I'm going to drop Dragon off of Gigas. Hey, like I said, if that's the flex, man, I'm all for it. <laughs> so, uh, what do you mean? <sighs> Me, like I said, again, like, before he got released, you know, generally, majority of the time, every time I always played, I was a Brian man. Mm. And the only reason why I say I was a Brian man is because, again, they started to bring back more of the characters that I genuinely play with. You know, usually, again, I started with Brian, like, you know, when Tekken 5, like, really, really took hold. I was a Marduk main all the way. I was a Marduk main. I love Bruce and everything. And don't get me wrong, I got no beef against Josie, but like there's something about her missing. Yeah, um, you know, for me at least. You know what's missing? She's not Bruce. Yes, that's basically it. Bring Bruce it. back, please. I Arata, so again. please. So again, like, you no, know, it was always Brian, it was always Bruce. And even in Tekken Tag 2, I love the both of them simply due to the fact that you didn't really have to worry too much about, like, you know, overly long combos. You could, like, you know, machine some stuff together. Like, if you're in the lab long enough, you don't have to worry about, like, any flowery stances or anything. You don't have to worry about, like, too many side set tactics. Just with those two together, they were a really solid striker team. And that's, like, the style that I generally go for. Mm -hmm. But when we got back to it, we got Josie. And, again, Josie's still good and everything. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah. You know, Brian is there. And, again, he's not, for my money, for, like, just for somebody who's been playing with Brian since second three, 
like there are just a couple of things that he's still a good character, but like, you know, with a lot of the notations getting switched around, particularly between Tekken 5 and Tekken 6, there was a little bit of a flow problem that I had with him afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I'm gaining myself back with him, I can say. But the second that Geese got dropped, I picked up Geese. So yeah, like, every, I'm, I'm terrible for that, I know. But oh my still, god, yeah. Geese. <laughs> I played against uh, Geese. He's probably in top eight. He was really, really good. Yeah, Geese. like I said again, with Geese. And this is something, you know, and High Kick, if you're still in the chat, you can attest to this. something me and her talk about all the time. One of the things that makes Geese so dangerous is the fact that he brings over something from KOF. And I'm not talking about the fact that he has meter and max mode. What I'm talking about is the fact that he has his counters, his yeah. specific counters. Because all of his counters, again, everybody, they remember the trailer from EO 2017. Everybody, you know, had predictable, like, burnt into their skulls and everything. And that's perfectly true. You need to be aware of that. But the really dangerous thing about Geese is his mid and low counters. Yeah. Those, again, the mid counter, that's just, you're going to eat a full combo for that. There's literally nothing you can do. You have to sit there and take it. If you get hit with a low counter at the same time, depending on where you are on the stage, if you're, God forbid, in a wall or near a corner, you're just going to get the wall bounce and you're going to be stuck eating another full combo. And, uh, yeah, he has combo off the wall, and he also has a combo in neutral if he's in the middle. Yeah. And that's really scary. Very. At least for, you know, dragging off, if he gets a parry, you can grab, you're going to you're gonna go, uh, be thrown on the floor. Hopefully, you can get a stomp, but most likely you're not. And that's where Geese, Geese has everything that every other character kind of needs. He has yeah, everything. Exactly. And that's why he, he needed a nerf. Now, I, uh, again, like I said, no, now with all that we were talking, I just turned to see who was actually playing and what's actually being played. And we have a Brian versus Marduk right now. So mm. these are, again, like two of my top characters. And I'm, you have no idea how happy I was when Marduk got announced, man. Like, yeah, seriously. he, he should have been in the original cast, I think, Marduk. Here's the thing they said again, I, at this stage of the game, given like everything that Tekken 7 has done in and of itself and for the FGC abroad, I'm not going to like no gripe about it too much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trust Serata and I'm going to trust Mike for what they've been doing. They've been doing very, very well. I mean, keep in mind, like outside of like Smash, did you ever think in a million years that we would be sitting here and on top of just playing a regular Tekken game that we would have Akuma, Geese, Noctis, and Negan? Negan. Yeah. All right. Like, so, like, just like really take a second to like drink all that in, and at the same time for the characters to, for the most part at least, be viable for what we're playing. Mm. You know, like it still blows my honest to God. I thought Noctis was going to be a bridge too far with everything that you can do in Final <laughs> Fantasy, but they normalized him enough that he's viable here. He's a thrill. You know, he's a general character. Okay. So. Here we go. We going with this first match. Uh oh, like Jester, don't even get me started. Like the second Leroy drops, all right. Again, I'm flipping every table I'm up against. Okay. We gotta say this. Leroy Smith means rise up. Yes. All right. All right so we going up. straight into the match. We got two cycles against each other. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Cool. UFC. Let's go. Okay, he's yeah, trying to read out his opponent. Because right now they're in the first round. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, into the pounce. Nice. This is actually scary. Oh, oh and again, yo, that flying tackle, man. It's enough. Seriously, like, as far as, like, Marduk being so you might as well have somebody throw a fridge at you with that. So, again, like, what are you going to do? Can, can we just take a moment and look at these guys' drip? Like, look look at this. Look Dude, at again, like I said, they're styling right now. Yeah, they're man. styling. Okay. Nice tag. Oh, oh damn. This guy. He's again, really scary. Marduk is simply a beast. You know, when in doubt, when you're playing Brian, Snake Edge. Yeah, seriously. Um, because I don't think Marduk is really blocking mids and those. Oh, nice. All right. It's a ledge bounce. Take him for a ride. Oh, oh. I missed that last hit. Man. Looking for an opportunity. Oh, Ooh, no tag. Gotta go for the spine buster into the mount. Ooh. To be honest, uh, that move is actually really, really hard to, like, forwards. Yeah, again, I'm not even going to trust that. Like, chances are I'm just going to assume that he's stomping on you while he's doing that hop kick because that's the <laughs> only way that that can even logically be no viable to but nonetheless, yeah, we're back into this, and Marduk, again, just ragdolling Brian right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Brian getting that yeah. momentum. Get the oh. knees up. Nice. Here we go. Nice. He's playing the distance. And then again, like I said, that's the beauty of Brian Fury. Get in, get out. Make him hurt. Nice. Good, good. Okay, trade. Nobody home. Oh, yeah, like seriously, that's, cool. that's what we're talking about, man. Good punish right there. Not going to lie, I was a little worried with the first kick hit, no, first kick missed, but I see what he was going for afterwards. So, again, like you said, Jester, I agree. Good pickup. 
Oh, man, right yeah. into the wall. But Brian still has to worry about all of this mix-ups and pressure that Mado has right now. He's really strong. Yeah. Whoa. Ugh. Giant spin away, all the way to the other side of the right. stage. Okay, let's let's go, Brian. Just concentrate. Nice. Well, I said, let him come to you and then punish him for it. It's good counter to the mid. No more UFC grabs. Nice. Let's go. go. I'm gonna take, take you for up. a ride. Good punish. Uh, all right, trying to go for the taunt. I like it. You know. Yeah, but that taunt mix up is so clean. All right, Modok with the first set. That's Right. Yeah, just like that, Jester, he said, Brian figured it out. Like, I, probably this next match, he's going to bring it back. I think oh, he's yeah. going to go straight to the round three. Because, mm -hmm. again, like I said, you know, it's a major thing. And, like, that's the scariest thing about Brian in particular. Because the tools that Brian has in his set, the second he figures out the game plan, that's it. He's coming at you, all guns blazing. Fight. Now, let's see. Right. Oh, you you won that one, guys? That's got back. Oh, uh, like I said, the Marta play. Oh, there we go. Like I said, no, now Marta not even giving him an opportunity to get that offense up. Straight into the wall. Ooh, where are you going? Uh, Ooh. Like a bag of rice. This Marta is so brutal. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's go, Brian. Big headbutt. All right, goes to the 2 3 1. Okay, right, a little bit of frog shrugging. Oh, but again, here we go to the launcher. Ooh. Jesus. That is scary. Listen, you need to be really, really careful around anybody who can just toss a cyborg just around like that. Ooh. Those are the northern lights, so it just lets them run. And that's the one thing about Tekken. Like, you can play a bunch of different Marduk's, but this Marduk is really strong, and he has amazing mix-ups. Mix -ups. The only thing Brian has to do is tech those grabs. But let's go. Ooh. Clean. Baby. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he deserved that song, right? He earned every bit of that. Okay. Brought that all the way back. Nice. Okay. Uh, but again, spine buster into the mount. A little punch. Hits him in the ribs. Check. And again, the launch. Ooh, he missed it. Uh, trying to go for the overhead. Got to attack those. But if you don't have the match of knowledge against this character, yeah, you're which a lot of people don't play, so I think he's learning while he's playing right now. Yeah, he has to. Fight. Okay, push back, get back. Yeah, knock it off. Okay, good smile. There we nice go. Tech. Let's go. Talking about trying to go for the stunner. No spin around stunner there. Mm, Still managed to get that knock into it, man. Full carry off that. All right, let's go. Okay, good stuff. Go. Ooh, that would have been beautiful. Very close. No tech. Uh, Northern Lights. And again, like I said, just no, not going for the mount. Oh, nice tech. Let's go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, mix things up. Keep them guessing. Yeah, you show them how to grab. Let's go. Keep that pressure. Oh, dude, that launching tackle. Like, seriously, it's like somebody throwing a Buick. Like, how do you get around that? But again, nonetheless, like the Mario player, again, pulls yeah. it off. Great and player.